Royce White was selected by the Houston Rockets in the 2012 draft. He led Fred Hoiberg, the mayor's uh, Iowa State Cyclones, to the NCAA tournament. He had a fantastic season. Uh, he transferred from Minnesota, however. He's from Minnesota. He transferred from the Minnesota Golden Gophers to Iowa State. And he's battled anxiety issues for what seems like the longest time. He was recently asked, USA Today wrote this piece, he was recently asked, uh, would you travel on, on planes 100 times a year? He said, and I quote, hell no, and then he elaborated. A hundred flights would be like if you're allergic to peanut butter. It'd be like spreading your whole body with it. It's a tough dynamic to deal with. It's complex, but I'm glad everyone is talking about it. We need a mass appreciation for the illness. I believe in shedding light where there's darkness. And then I'll get to you, Ben. Yahoo had this to say, uh, elaborating. I don't have the writer's name. Um, I'll throw a link in the, in the description below for him. This is NBA basketball, though. You have to fly to games. There's just no way around it. And if White is unable to work around it, then he's just not going to be able to make it as an NBA pro, even if the Sixers allow him because he got traded from the Rockets to the Sixers, only to play home games. The sort of resentment and lack of chemistry that could result in such an arrangement, to say nothing of conditioning issues, which White has struggled with, wouldn't be in Philadelphia's best interest. And then he goes on. It's a fantastic piece on Yahoo. So last year he played 15 games in the developmental league, uh, and Houston offered him a bus, which obviously he used uh, sparingly. Now the question is, are we taking it seriously enough? Should the, should whatever team, now the Sixers, pretty much provide him with the transportation he needs and the help that he needs because he he won't get on planes. This is a serious, serious Will disorder. Will he not get on he any planes or he won't he, get on a he won't, planes? He won't get on a plane at all. It's hard to get him to travel. And I like I understand. I mean, it's a serious issue for Royce White. But if you're an NBA team, you know what you're getting yourself into. And it seems like the Rockets kind of knew what they were getting themselves into. So I, I, I don't feel bad for the Rockets at all in, in this sense, and I'm not going to feel bad for the Sixers. He's had so many problems along the way in high school and college with the transfers and disciplinary issues. Yeah. So it, the, I don't know whether I, – I don't know. I don't know whether he doesn't take his medication, obviously. They it, tried giving him medication, but then he suffered from insomnia because well, he it's just I, I got it something's going on yeah if a guy if he were completely committed to finding the right balance of medicines maybe he is and i don't know and maybe he's incredibly frustrated because he's tried ten thousand things and nothing works um you know i mean if he's good enough then by the way playing in philadelphia you know you're talking about 41 home games and two games a year in washington and two games a year in new york and two games jersey. a year in boston and jersey with the brooklyn wherever the hell they are now yep. so you know those are trains uh, which means he could probably pl pretty easily play 50 games, probably 50 other trains, Cleveland stuff. He could probably play 55 games a year. And if, it's, if he's good enough, well, then, then it's probably worth it. Well, we'll never know because he hasn't premiered yet in the NBA. But the big question is, should they cater to his needs? I say yes. Well, I mean, uh, I would say basically no. Um, Why? Travel is a necessity of being a professional athlete. Yeah. And while... I would do all I could to try to treat it. Ultimately, if he can't travel, he can't he can't travel. And if he's not if he's not uh, you know if he's not good enough to to make an impact that it helps the team to have him in those 55 games, well then then you cut your ties with him. And yeah, exactly. That yeah. you know get a clue if you're if you're part of the organization. If you don't want this burden on you, then just don't sign him. I mean, it's that it seems that simple to me. Yeah, but I mean, he's got to you know he's at some point he's going to have to make a decision of whether he is either, if, he, if he's not capable of getting on a plane, then he's not Which capable. Which he's not. Right, but people can get treated. I mean, it's, this is not, uh, these aren't like, that's it, there's nothing to do. So if he's committed to the treatment and it still doesn't work, that's one thing. If he's not fully committed to the treatment, then he's gotta make a decision about whether he wants to be or not. And I, I don't know enough about his story. I've followed it about as much as you have. Yeah. And I, you know, it's, it's an interesting one and they should take it seriously and give him buses when they can. But I mean, the fact of the matter is if they make the playoffs and they're playing a playoff series against, you know, a, a, you know, Portland, well, that'd be in the finals. Even if they're playing the Bulls in the Eastern Conference playoffs, hey, we're gonna have to have you on a plane to, to get there if, if, that's, if that's what's needed. And the amazing thing is he's only 22 years old. And I, I've seen him do interviews on Huffington Post and all that. So if, Royce, if you wanna come on the show, it's an open invitation. Yeah, I mean, I'd I, love I would to know love more. to discuss this. And I'd him. love to know what he is, uh, I don't know what he's tried and what hasn't worked. Yeah. And it can be really frustrating to, 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 to take care of uh, conditions like that. And it, obviously, the, you could kill your, some of the treatments could kill your sex drive. Some of the treatments could kill your ability to sleep. Yep. Obviously, you don't want that. But, uh, but that said, the league is not obligated 
to pay him anyway. You know, I mean, if he can't travel, then 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 yeah. he, then he may have to find another.